Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. Claire, or the other half of Gear Seekers, has uh, had her editing PC for the better half of three years now, and we decided, well, she decided that she wanted a bit of an upgrade. So that's what we're doing in today's video. I'm building Claire a brand new editing PC for her photo editing and for doing all the thumbnails and all that stuff. And she also handles some of the editing tasks as well. So she needed something with a bit more juice than her older machine. If you wanna see the video of her other editing PC that we built her a few years ago, I'll put a link in the description. It's the highest viewed build video that we've ever done on the channel, just coincidentally, I don't know why, but it is, so you can check that in the description. But Let's put together Claire's new PC, and then I'll talk to you guys about what she's actually going to be using it for. The Sims, right? That's all you do, right? Is play The Sims, right, Claire? Yeah. Yeah. We build PCs like this on the channel to inspire you guys to build beautiful PCs of your own. The main difference with this one here is this is a permanent PC, at least. For the next three years, right, Claire? Hopefully. Three years. Yeah. Right, at least. At least. Before anyone asks, why didn't you get Claire to build the PC with you on video? Well, she doesn't want to be in videos. That's her choice completely. And she's busy doing other things like making everything else for Gear Seekers run. All the stuff that I can't do. She does all the thumbnails, she does all the social media, and she makes sure this whole thing runs like a well-oiled machine. I just build PCs. So let me do my job and build a PC.
right, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the build of Claire's new PC that she'll be using for everything. Not just editing and doing her work, but also primarily playing The Sims. What? <laughs> <laughs> and Beat Saber. Claire likes VR. She uses her PC for VR. I love it. Her older PC is not so great at VR. And I was like, you know what? We're going to give her a GPU that's going to be amazing for VR. So now she has an amazing GPU for VR. Speaking of, let's talk about the parts. Now, the interesting thing about this build is I didn't pick any of the parts for this. This is all Claire choosing everything that she wanted. So if you don't like anything, Come at Claire, it's nothing to do with me. She picked the case, she picked the RAM, she picked the motherboard, she picked the M.2, she picked the fans, she picked the GPU, she picked the cables, she picked the power supply, she picked everything. So let's talk about all of that. In fact, she picked the cooler she liked, knowing that it wasn't technically supported by the case, but she knew that I was um, quite good at making things fit that shouldn't fit. And I'm leaving that in. <laughs> Alrighty, the parts. The CPU is the Intel Core i9-12900K. We put the 12900K on the Gigabyte Z690 Aero G, and it's a DDR5 version. Speaking of the RAM, we are using 32 gigs of Team Group Delta R RGB DDR5 memory at 6400 mega transfers. It is blistering fast memory. To cool the 12900K, we're using the NZXT and Kraken Z73 RGB. Obviously, we're not using the NZXT fans on it, but we are using the cooler with the screen because that's exactly what Claire wanted. And I'm gonna talk about this cooler and this case combo a bit later, so just stick around. The GPU is the ASUS ROG Strix RTX 3080 OC edition. It's the white version of the card, which is very nice. Thanks for Permanently taking one of my white GPUs away from rotation, Claire. That's okay. You deserve it though. Okay. You deserve it. The cables in the build are custom made white and silver cables from CableMod. CableMod are the absolute goats and they hooked us up with this set of cables for Claire's build as well. So shout outs to CableMod for getting us these cables. All of the fans are Lee and Lee Unifans are the SL120s. There's three 120s on the top, three 120s on the bottom, one 120 on the back, and two 140s as intake on the side. The case is the Lee and Lee O11 Mini White, not the Snow Edition. Claire did not want the Snow Edition. She wanted the tinted glass panels. Otherwise, she's gonna to get too distracted with her PC on the desk, but she still wanted to have white components. It's up to her. She gets to choose whatever she wants. If you don't like it, Talk, talk to the boss. She makes the decisions around here, not me. You can fight Claire. She'll like it. She's a judo master. <laughs> she just walks around eating bags of chips all the time. <laughs> yeah, fighting people and eating chips all the time. <laughs> and really, really short. What are you like, four foot? Yeah, I'm joking. And if I miss any other parts in this build, I'll put it in the PC part pickle list down below. But Let's quickly chat about some things that I did with this build to make certain things fit. So obviously everything's going to fit in this case, except the cooler at the top. You might be asking yourself, how did you get the 360 mil cooler in the top of the O11 mini? Well, after our review of this case back in the end of 2020, something like that, Claire, end of 2020, yeah. the biggest complaint I had about this case was that Leon Lee, literally could have offset the mounting holes on the top to make a 360 mil cooler fit. So guess what they did? You ready? Yep. Because I complained about it, they made offset brackets. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Like we have a set of offset brackets in the top that pushes the radiator this way. It clears the RAM, it clears the motherboard, it clears everything up top and this turns out to be one of the smallest full ATX size cases that you can fit all of the big stuff in because of these bits of metal, which is nice that Lee and Lee actually did something that I complained about, which is nice. The reason for this build as well is not just to give Claire an upgraded PC. We're actually giving Claire a whole new upgraded desk setup, new monitors, new desk, 
Everything supplied by Omnidesk, which is absolutely amazing. We've got a code for a discount from Omnidesk down below in the description. If you want to grab yourself one of their new stand-up desks for a cheaper price than you would usually pay. So check out the link in the description. Special thanks to Omnidesk. Also, I've got to say special thanks to Intel. Uh, I wouldn't usually do something like this, but I reached out to them and I was like, hey, we want to build Claire a new editing PC. Can you guys help us get a CPU? And they hooked us up with a 12900K just for this build. So special thanks to Intel and also big massive thanks to Team Group for hooking up this RAM because this RAM, I don't even think it's out yet. We've been sitting on the stuff for a little while waiting for the right time and it's the right time now. So special thanks to Omnidesk, Intel and Team Group for making this awesome build happen. That's it, no benchmarks, none of that stuff, but make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on because we're in the process of filming Claire's new desk upgrade. It's gonna be so crazy, you guys are gonna love it. And if you wanna see that, yeah, subscribe. And if you like this video, hit the like button, ring the bell for notifications. If you like the music you heard here, I make all of the music, it's available by clicking the join button or going over to Floatplane for early access to videos like this one or on Patreon to get the music. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy, Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek. And are you excited, Claire? Extremely. But now you have to wait. You have to wait. Look at it, it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. You have to wait now, Claire, because we still need to build your desk. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, I've set this whole PC up. It's got all your programs, everything ready to go. But, no, can't use it. Not yet. I mean, I think the people have looked at this system closer than you have, right? No. You haven't even used it yet. I've shot photos. You shot photos of it, but you haven't used it. Not yet. I've used it. It's really fast. <laughs> it's really, really fast.